Welcome to the GTN Christmas Show. Yeah, we have plenty of fun in store. Sticking with the theme of 2020, a lot of it is going to be virtual. With the pros joining us from afar, we've also got a wonderful festive selection of your great Christmas photos. Yeah, so get ready for a chuckle and a good bit of Christmas cheer. Mark. I reckon our lovely GTM viewers have probably heard enough from us for one year. Why don't we let the pros take it away? Yeah, we are very fortunate to have the pros joining us today who have been kind enough to share some of their Christmas thoughts with us. What was your best bit of 220? My best bit of 2020 was getting married to this cheeky duchy here on my left, probably your right. Um, <laughs> quite an cool, amazing moment getting married. We're getting old, as you can see. Well, you can hear. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> But yeah, best 2020 that for me that was that was great. Also to be able to do some racing this year was nice. I mean, if I was in South Africa, I wouldn't have got to any racing. So got to look at uh, the blessings where they where they are. Yeah, no, I agree with you. The getting married to you was the best thing. Doing some races was was okay. I mean, it was a bit a bit weird. Let me say it like that. 2020 was weird, but everyone will agree with that. Yeah. The best bit of 2020 for me was winning Ironman Florida in a course record and qualifying for Kona. My favourite moment of 2020 was probably my... third place finish at the inaugural PTO Championships at Challenge Daytona. So there's actually been quite a few good bits of 2020. Uh, I've done a few grab adventures and quite enjoyed having a bit less time away from formal structure training. But the best bit has got to be getting my Kona slot at Ironman Florida. I suck at saying Christmas wish list. Christmas wish list. Christmas wish list. Christmas. There we go. <laughs> I don't have one actually, I've got everything I need. When you have this, Rachel, what else do you need? I mean, I've got a YouTube channel as well that I started, that keeps me entertained. Um, actually, on my Christmas wish list would be a new MacBook with an M1 chip, as well as some F, uh, software editing stuff and a whole bunch of more stuff. It's Christmas then. I honestly thought maybe giving you like some nice uh, photos from the wall. <laughs> Actually, you know what, making this house now, well, that's what Rach, she likes to make the house look pretty, so that's what she wants, but I want editing stuff. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're, we're, we're getting there, we're, we yeah. put up picture frames and we, we're doing some housey stuff, so we're getting, we're getting there. I actually don't have any wish either, like stuff-wise. No, as long as everyone is happy and healthy, that's good. My biggest wish for the future is to get racing back and yeah, that's all. I'm hoping for. I don't really have a Christmas wish list. I've kind of got all the things I really want. Um, so it'd probably just be chocolate and wine. I would choose the Zap Squad girls, Maya and Lisa. They're always up for fun and good training, so I'm sure we would have a good time. I would take Matthew Vanderpool, but I'd settle for Ruth Astor. Um, I've had to be in lockdown with one athlete. I feel like I've already spent a sort of lockdown in Florida with Kat Matthews and she was alright company, so pro go for her. Uh, Please. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say Vincent Louis. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Vincent Louis and I, you know, we... No, I'm joking. Um, but Rachel, I would have to choose Rachel. Seeing that we've been in lockdown together and we haven't murdered each other. No. So I, we can do it again. We can do, we've, we've prepared for this a little bit. Probably surprising people with presents that they might not have expected. Um, although I do like the food as well, especially when mum's cooking, pretty good. I think sometimes hopefully having a day off. We beg our coach every year for a day off on Christmas and we never get but it. You <laughs> no, you don't. I'm pretty sure it will be a long run again. We might get like a four hour ride and an hour run on oh, Christmas, which has happened before. The coach is asking if we can swim during Christmas and New Year's and stuff, if the pools are open, because in the Netherlands, well now at like lockdown, you know, looking at the lockdown, but usually the pools will be closed around Christmas and New Year's. So what if we just lie and we say the pools are closed with Christmas and New Year's? 
I think we should lie. <laughs> Don't post this video before Christmas, GT, and otherwise our coach will know that we cheated and lied. Oh, they also understood the lake, so we might as well just. There's say no, the we, pools we have to, we can always swim here, always. Yeah. Even on sure. Christmas Day, well, Christmas morning until like lunchtime, things will be open and then it'll be shut from lunchtime, yeah. usually. I think the best thing about Christmas for me is actually being able to spend it with lots of people in my family. It's going to be a bit different this year, but uh, usually it's the one opportunity across the year where we all kind of get together and and get to spend time with each other. Best thing about Christmas for me is cheese. Best thing about Christmas for me is to spend some quality time with my family and go out in the nature, in the forest and just enjoy those quiet moments. They are pretty raw usually over the year, so that's always special on Christmas. Be happy, enjoy what you have, everyone out there. Um, and yeah, Rachel and I have just, we started a YouTube channel the last six months so if you go, go ahead and take a look at it uh, rd murray on youtube that would be amazing give us the like subscribe and turn the notifications if you can that would be sweet so again merry christmas everyone merry christmas to everyone at gtn well that was super cool thank you to those pros for getting involved and really interesting to hear from them yeah brilliant well back to us now and i think you guys know that here at GTN, we love a presenter challenge. I mean, 2020 has been packed full of them. So we're going to be getting out that competitive spirit again. This time though, a little less physical today, a little bit more fun. Yeah, we're gonna be using our heads today cool. because we are gonna be guessing the athlete that is on each of our foreheads. So we're gonna be placing names onto our foreheads, which we haven't seen. And then we're gonna be trying to guess one another by asking questions, which- I think you guys can, will soon work out as we go. The other can answer yes or no to, and hopefully we'll get yeah, yeah right, so we, who, we've you... got them listed like we haven't seen them they're on the side so i'm just gonna feel hit okay <laughs> did you just look at it i looked at that one okay <laughs> <laughs> try again okay let's hope your head's not too shiny i think i've got two here okay i'll put that one back down <laughs> hopefully it's the right way up uh, it's upside down but i can read it okay no, it doesn't matter i'm, I'm sure well, our audience can do you want to grab one too heather and then oh we'll... we're doing it at the same time yeah yeah all yeah, yeah. oh, right no, okay so i ask you one oh, and okay then you can... well don't why i'm facing the wall because you're not allowed to see it aren't you it's just me that's not allowed to see it is mine the right way up um I mean, just spin it 90 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> okay. I'm trying not to look in the glass because I can always see it. <laughs> not looking, uh, but I am looking. Well, okay. Look at you. Um, am I a world champion? Yes. Okay. Oh, you're going in there. Am I a girl? Yes. Am I German? No. Am I a German? Yes, you are. Um... Am I Norwegian? <laughs> yes, you are. Ah, okay, all right. <laughs> Am I a current world champion? No. Am I Laura Phillip? Yes. Am I Gustav Eden? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well done. Okay, next one. Oh no, right, don't one. be looking. Wait, let's put those down there. No, no, no. I think I've got two again. It's like hard to not look, but I'm not looking, I promise. Am I the right way up? Yeah, am I? Yes, you are. Okay. Right, uh, I'm gonna ask you, you first. Go first yeah. um, am I a girl? You sure are. Okay, am I a girl? Am I a girl? Yes. Um, oh, am I European? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Am I? <laughs> am I German? We're just going no. down the street. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna go again. Um, do I race in a swimsuit? Yes, you do. <laughs> Sorry, I might, have, I might have written some I, of I these. Haven't, well, I haven't got it very far on this one. I think, can I just, shall I wait to say who I am? But I think we're... Yeah, go on, go on, I think you I know. I mean, there's not many girls that race in this one are there that are long course. I think I'm Holly Lawrence. I'm pretty sure I'm Holly okay, Lawrence. Um, am I? I'm gonna have to, yeah, you are. I'm gonna have to catch up here. Am I, am I world champ? My same question again. No. No, okay. Am I... Uh, am I British? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Am I Lucy Charles? Yeah! Great. All right, should we do one more each? Yeah, one more each. Okay. All right, lucky dip. I'm going to ask a different question. Well, I can think of one now. Um, am I a short course athlete? No. Okay. Um, I was going to give you more there, but I'm not allowed. Um, <laughs> am I... Um, am I a really good cyclist? Oh. Oh, that's really, how do you define that? Okay, I, yeah. oh, what would you guys say? I mean, I can't say anymore. I mean, the fact you haven't jumped in and said yes, I feel bad for this athlete. Oh so. my God, now I feel really bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I always said, 
whether they are male or female and I can't say anymore, but I apologize because yeah, I can't, I can't elaborate if you're watching this. Mm -hmm. oh my God, I'm <laughs> stumped. Okay, come on then, another one. Um, am I a girl? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about my next question there. <laughs> Sorry right, so I'm probably probably a boy, and I forgot my first question. Oh, um, okay. long course. I'm a long course boy. All right, um, I, obvious question. Am I a boy? No. Okay. Right, I'm a long course boy. Um, have I won a race this year? No. I haven't been many races, have there? No. That was a silly question. <laughs> um, am I a good runner? Again, what's good? I'm, I'm you trying, can't I'm, ask me these I'm questions. I'm putting you on the spot. I'm trying to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to burn all our bridges here at GTA in one show. Um, oh, I can't even say. I'll have to tell you afterwards. But yeah, this is a really bad hole that we're digging <laughs> right now. Um, am I British? No. Okay. Am I a long course athlete? Yes. Okay. Um, God, why are we struggling on this one? Um, am I American? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with the same one as last time. Am I a British athlete? Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you're like, oh dear. <laughs> um, oh, did I race in Daytona? No. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm not helping you much here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm really struggling on this one. Um, am I Ruth Assel? No. Am I, am I in the right ballpark? Is this... um, well, I mean, you've got all the right... You, yeah, I mean, you're in the right ballpark, but it's the wrong person. So. Yeah, true. Yeah, okay. Go on, Cameron, go on. Am I Camworth? Yes. Yes! <laughs> um, okay, if it's not... I mean, they are strong in the run and the and the, and the the bike, but what's good? What? How do you... I can't sort of... I can't put a number okay, on okay. that. Okay, okay. I've got two to go with then. Am I Cat Matthews? No. Am I Nikki Bartlett? Yes! Oh, oh, no Nikki. way I feel bad for Nikki. <laughs> She's a strong cyclist. Nikki, I'm not Nikki, saying you're... you're yes, you are strong, but how do you quantify strong, please? I'm not saying you're not a strong cyclist because you would smash me on the bike and the run. So please oh, don't hold it against oh, me. Oh, there's some good ones here. What oh, have we got? Aniko Lanos, Sarah oh, Crowley. And Haug. Oh, Emma, Emma Snow. Sebi Keen, Emma Snow. So back in the time, aren't oh, we? Yeah, we yeah, I think we've exhausted there. that game there, haven't yeah. we? <laughs> The time has come. I've completed my five run workouts and my five bike workouts of the Zwift Triathlon Academy. And now it's crunch time. There is no more avoiding. I have to do the run race. There's the option of the five or the 10K and no surprises, I'm opting for the 5K. And it's time to find out if all that hard work has paid off. All right, we're starting. This is it. This is the time trial. And I'm being ambitious here because I'm desperate. And get under 20 minutes. I feel comfortable. Then 900 meters. So almost a fifth of the way. I'm almost halfway. And I can still talk. I'm feeling like there's something wrong here. In a good way. So I got the pace of 15 and a half. And my heart rate's still in the 160s. Well, I know I'm out of breath, but I've just run well under 20 minutes and I can still talk. I think it must be the Christmas socks or the new shoes. Something weird is going on. 
Right now, time to take a look through all your photos you sent in to us with a nice festive theme this week. Yeah, brilliant. Well, this one has been sent from Tim. Thank you, Tim. Um, you obviously saw my shout out on the show last week. It says, went for a training run on St. Nicholas Day. When is St. Nicholas Day? Um, a lovely sunny day. Well, a lovely Father Christmas cap too. From Poland, Poznan in Poland. Yeah, sorry. Um, I've got to say, actually, he almost looks remarkably like Andreas Rehler there. I don't know if it's just the sunnies and a very sort of lean face. That's a compliment. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Careful then, uh, here, where you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, very, very cool. Thanks for that. Um, next one from Tyler, and this is from Brooklyn in New York. Um, and this is his pain cave setup with a lovely Christmas tree in front. He said, I look I up this. to the angel on the tree every time I do a hard ride on the train, hoping for <laughs> divine intervention. Um, I'm actually wondering if you've got any chocolates on the tree, because that would be a nice sort of like was, carrot yeah. in front of you when you're on the bike. Well, I, I have recently had to move my bike setup, and it's currently set up in front of the fridge. <laughs> that's, that's my inspiration. <laughs> Goodness, it? <laughs> it's not good. Uh, well, next we've got a video actually. Um, this is sent in by Alex and it's his Trek Emonda disc. He's in Greece and he says, This year I decided to put my Christmas gifts to my new environmentally friendly Christmas tree. Oh! Yeah, very cool. You've got the lights around the bike there. We've got some muck off goodies, park tool goodies, new tyres. Uh, our savers, um, yeah, you've gone to town there, brilliant. Yeah, it very doesn't well. look very rideable, but it looks pretty, doesn't it? It does look very <laughs> nice, hopefully. Well, yeah, what are you going to do each time you want to ride that bike now? It's a lot of decorating to do. Yeah, well, is it just a Christmas right. display? Anyway, anyway. <laughs> well, our not... final, yeah, should we move on to our final photo? It's been sent in by Ken, and it's his wife and himself taking part in a fundraiser, the Santa Shuffle in New Brunswick, Canada. Yeah, looking really cool. And is that some him snow. in the second photo? Um, now dressed as Santa Claus, or is that the Santa at the event? <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot of Christmas stuff, but there's a lot of <laughs> snow. It's actually true Christmas setting, which... I'm loving the tie, though. That almost looks homemade. I don't know if it is, but it <laughs> looks brilliant. Um, but yeah, ah, okay, there we are in the last photo. Um, the partner was uh, also stood alongside Santa, so it wasn't. Is, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Ken is the is the runner, not Santa. <laughs> we got there in the end. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, good little journey we went on there. But yeah, thank you ever so much, to everyone, for sending those in um, and all the festivities. Yeah. Please do keep sending in your photos as we go into the new year. Maybe you're getting your new pain cave set up. You've got mm. some goodies in from Christmas. Yeah, I was going to say any Christmas presents or pictures of you guys. Maybe out running in your new kit or yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, send them in using the photo upload link that's on screen right now or in the description just down below. All right, well, that is rounding it up for Christmas here. However, there's still plenty more Christmassy things coming out on the channel. We have the Six Hills of Bath Christmas challenge or Christmas kind of celebration. So keep an eye out for that video coming very soon. Yeah, it's quite a tough one with a bit of a spin on each of these hills that we do. Um, don't forget to give this video a like and give us a subscribe just down below. And we also have some brilliant videos that have come out recently on the channel. We have our Christmas challenge, which was a lot of fun to film. <laughs> as well as how to get strong in the off-season. So make sure you head on over and check those out too.